Well, hi, my name is Bruce Gore, and I'm really appreciative that you've taken the time to look at this uh, little YouTube video that we've put together. I don't know about you, I've accumulated quite a few Bibles over my life. I remember back when I was a little kid going to church, my dad had a huge King James Bible. This was back in the 50s. And I know the one thing I wanted more than anything else was to have one of those big King James Bibles. And I'll tell you, that Bible was about as big as I was at that time, but I was pretty proud of it. I took it to church every Sunday. I have to admit to you that when I was listening to sermons, I tended to look at the nice color pictures in that Bible more than listen to the sermons, but even those pictures, I think, did me some good. As time went on, I accumulated other Bibles. I remember getting my first new uh, international version of the Bible. I got uh, the Phillips translation. I picked up uh, the Living Bible, the Good News Bible, uh, the New International Version. Uh, did I mention that? I picked up uh, uh, the New Revised Standard and so on. If you're anything like me, you probably have a stack of Bibles around your house that is pretty impressive. I don't know if you've ever wondered what it would be like to be able to get behind all of those translations to the original language in which the New Testament was actually written. I suppose you know that the original language was the Greek language. It wasn't some high and holy language. It was actually called Koine Greek, meaning the coinage of the realm. It was really street Greek. It was marketplace Greek. It was the Greek that people used life on the street in ancient uh, Hellenistic uh, uh, culture and so on. And it was in that language that the New Testament was produced and written by the authors. And of course, that made it very readable to those folks who were the original recipients of those letters. And indeed, it was intended that they should be able to read and make sense out of the documents that were being circulated back in the early days of the church's history. Well, as time went on, of course, languages change. And at, these, at this point in uh, life, unless you happen to be native Greek or have learned Greek, most people don't speak Greek. And even New Testament Greek has become more or less the realm, I suppose, for many people of scholars, of seminary students and teachers and so on. And I suppose many people who consider themselves serious Christians have never really thought that they would have an opportunity to study Greek to the point that they could actually read the New Testament. Well, I remember the first time I was uh, giving thought to the idea of taking Greek. It was way back, about a hundred years ago, when I was in college, and I saw there in the curriculum of that school that uh, they offered New Testament Greek. And I don't know, more or less than a fluke, I decided to go ahead and, and uh, take a, a, a stab at that class. I'm just going to level with you right now. I wasn't the best Greek student. I'm afraid my wonderful Greek professor, Dr. Larry Yates, would probably be shocked to uh, see that uh, this pretty average student turned out to be someone who would teach Greek many times over the years. And uh, yet that's exactly what's happened. And so it's been a great privilege over the years to teach many students Greek. And I've just thought that maybe it would be time at this point to make it available online so that folks who don't necessarily have ready access to a college uh, program in Greek or seminary training or theological uh, graduate studies, that kind of thing, could nevertheless learn the language. And so that's what I'm doing, and that's what this course is about. If you're interested in it, I would like for you to visit my website. My website is brucegore.com, and once you get there, you'll see a little icon that says Learn Greek. And if you click on that button, it will give you more details about, that, about how this course works. The course is based on a little textbook that was written in the early part of the 20th century by a man whose name is J. Gresham Machen. He was a wonderful Christian scholar involved in many uh, important uh, uh, issues of his day, but one of the things he did was produce this wonderfully elegant little grammar of New Testament Greek called New Testament Greek for Beginners, and that's exactly what it is. I don't know for sure, but I suppose, at least in America, that most of the people uh, to this day who are conversant in and use New Testament Greek probably learned it using this little text. Other texts have been written. They're all good. But this one is the one that I think is uh, probably appropriate for a course like this. It's still readily available. I show you at my website how you can obtain a copy. And uh, so you'll need to do that. And as you go along, and by the way, the book itself uh, usually costs less than 10 bucks, so there's no great expense there. There is a little bit of cost for the course itself. It's modest, but it does help me defray the expenses of having put this together, so I think you can probably understand that. 
But what I'd like you to do is just go ahead and visit my site. And if you pick up there, I'll explain to you the registration process, the cost, uh, what exactly the course looks like, what the requirements are, and how you can continue your learning process through uh, to the end. If you're curious, uh, my own estimation is that if you were to spend about 15 minutes to a half an hour a day, maybe five days a week working on this uh, program, that you'd probably complete it in something like nine months to a year. Uh, you don't need to be a brainiac, you don't need to be brilliant, you do need to have steady, disciplined progress, and I think you'll find the course itself. It's interactive, there is opportunities to try your skills and get feedback and so on, so it's in intended to give you a, an opportunity to develop, to develop your uh, uh, process and your skills along the way. So anyway, I hope I've uh, raised your interest a bit. As I say, the next step, if you're curious about this, would simply to be to visit my site, uh, click on that little green button that you see there, learn Greek, and uh, the program will pick up from there and kind of lead you through the process and show you what's involved. Thanks a lot for joining me for this little presentation. I hope that this has been encouraging to you, and I really do hope that I might uh, have the opportunity to see you in the Greek course, get acquainted with you. I'd be happy to interact with you. If you have particular questions, you want to send me an email and ask me a specific question, I'd be glad to respond to you. I usually can uh, answer pretty rapidly. My email address is bruce at brucegore.com. And so if you uh, would like to do that, then by all means, uh, feel free to do so. So thanks for joining me. Uh, God's blessings on you. Thanks for your interest in this, and I hope to see you in Greek.